parking really is a commodity. It's a private need that must be privately met by the market. I'm Shreya Gadepalli and I'm the founder and managing trustee of the Urban Works Institute. I started this journey 24 years back and there have been 24 exciting years of bringing about change in cities across India through better transit and better streets. And I'm more excited than ever about the future that India can create. Tell me, why do you go to a mall? Uh, let me guess, you go there to enjoy walking. You get a nice, expansive place to walk, clean, shaded, and without that pesky traffic, no noise, no pollution, and no fear of being hit from God knows where. You park your car a mile away in a multi-level parking and you don't complain about not being able to park right in front of the shop you're going to and you pay for it as well. Imagine if the mall was just filled with apposite parking. Would you ever go there? So why can't our streets be like malls? with a nice expansive place to walk, clean, shaded, with no pesky traffic, no noise, no pollution, and no fear of being hit from God knows where. Streets in Europe are exactly like that, like open air malls. You go there to enjoy walking. You sit down in open air street side cafes to enjoy a meal, Enter tactical urbanism, a way of light testing design ideas with paint and pots with plants. It's a way of creating that future today for people to experience that future and a way of garnering support from those who aren't convinced. I have been part of many tactical urbanism initiatives across India. I have seen naysayers become believers. I have seen shopkeepers who are initially very doubtful about these initiatives become their biggest champions because they saw value in it. And I'm very heartened to see the kind of change that tactical urbanism Mumbai is bringing. But I must say this, that we can create streets for all only by fixing parking. Parking presently occupies nearly 50% of our street space. space which should ideally be used for mobility and for livability. For that to happen, we must ensure that parking moves out of the streets and into off-street parking structures, structures which are privately constructed and managed. Because parking is a private need that must be privately met without any subsidy from the government. When that happens, we can truly create streets for all. I'd like to speak about Pune, which has used tactical urbanism uh, for great benefit for all. When it was initially trying to create wider footpaths in certain parts of the city, there was significant opposition from the local shopkeepers because they thought that this would reduce the amount of space for parking. So what the city did was to bring them aboard and said, let's try this out. Let's try this out on the ground using, like I said, pots with plants and paint just for a weekend. Uh, and the shopkeepers were game. That test was done on the ground. And when they saw the amazing response from citizens, the kind of citizens who were coming there and enjoying the time, they became supporters of this initiative. Not only did they become supporters, they even offered their own front setbacks to be made into public space to create a wider nicer space for people to come sit and enjoy that area and today you can see that whole area being rejuvenated uh, new shops are op being opened there new eateries are getting opened there and more people are coming to that place there's more business to be had tactical urbanism is not just a way of experiencing the future and of garnering support of those who aren't convinced. But it is also a way of co-creating the future with people, for people.
So be ready for the kind of feedback that citizens are going to give. Be ready to change the designs because that's the only way we can create the future that we want. Imagine if you were to go to a shop and buy an air conditioner and then come back and say, government, I bought an air conditioner. Why don't you give me a house to fix the air conditioner in? Park is exactly like that. You know, it's like going buying a car and then saying, government, uh, I've bought a car. You give me a free house for the car. And I don't want just one house. I want three houses. I want one at my house. I want one at my office and one at the mall or recreation center, wherever else. Now, that's 750 square feet of land in a city like Mumbai, where so many people have no place to live. Parking really is a commodity. It's a private need that must be privately met by the market at market prices. And we also need to understand that parking is like a magnet. Parking, when it's there, attracts more traffic. And if you want less traffic in Mumbai, less pollution in Mumbai, less noise in Mumbai, and less road deaths in Mumbai, we need to start reducing parking rather than increasing parking. Now, tactical urbanism is a great way of creating that space for walking by removing that parking and putting it where it should belong, which is in private property not on the street. But we can do that only by showing what's possible on that land. So imagine instead of parking, there's a playground for students, for kids. Imagine that it actually becomes a nice street side cafe. Imagine that's a place where the elderly can come and sit and enjoy a nice evening with their friends. So a lot is possible with that land and we should see streets for what they are. They are public spaces first and foremost. Mumbai can make a big difference through tactical urbanism Mumbai to bring about a revitalization of the city, to create Mumbai into truly a world-class city.